much. Meanwhile, people from all over the state at the Capitol today speaking out against a bill that would change how short-term rentals are taxed. Fox 31's Gabrielle Franklin joining us live with more on this debate. Gabrielle. Yeah, Erica, opponents say that they came to the state capitol to get ahead of this measure, but lawmakers who were backing the bill say that the measure is a work in progress and the final bill may have something different in store for homeowners than they think it may. Well, we came down here because you know, we're obviously in opposition to this bill. That's no surprise. But we've been hearing that there are major amendments coming to it. We we're hoping to learn more about that. Al Lone is the manager of Winter Park and Steamboat Springs Lodging Companies, as well as a founding member of the Colorado Lodging and Resort Alliance. He and hundreds of other property managers and owners across the state came out to voice opposition against a bill designed to make sure corporate property owners are not paying residential rates. Really trying to understand the conversion issue that's happening where commercial properties are being converted into residential for a tax loophole. Uh, and we're seeing that happen across the state. And so that's what really, I think, started the interest in the legislature in short-term rentals. But for loan and other managers say there are far more vacation homeowners that would be impacted by the measure if passed. We have conducted a survey that was thousands of, of vacation rental homeowners in Colorado. And essentially what it's shown is that 89% of them own one property. But really the, the narrative that seems to be coming out is that it's these large corporations that are taking over and, and managing hundreds or thousands of properties. And so we want to have the opportunity to to kind of state that case that what this bill is doing is really going after individual homeowners. Bill sponsor Senator Chris Hansen says amendments are coming to the proposal to ensure the bill will impact who lawmakers intend it to. What you're going to see in first committee is a is a really careful narrowing and focusing of the legislative approach. Right now the IRS defines commercial property activity as if it's rented more than 180 days a year. And so I think we'll be looking close at the IRS definition and how the tax treatment is already being handled on the federal level and see if we can become more congruent with that in Colorado. And even though opponents came out to be vocal about the bill today, the committee hearing for this measure isn't set until next Tuesday. That's where we, that's where we will see those changes that lawmakers made to the bill and we'll actually see the finished project. So we'll be keeping an eye on that and bring you the latest then. But for now, we are live outside the state capitol. Gabrielle Franklin, Fox 31.